Nigerians, it is time again. 2019 seems like it was yesterday in the collective uh, Nigerian memory. It is time again for Nigerians to meet face to face in public forum with 2023 presidential candidates. We have more than three candidates vying for the attention and ballots of the under educated, under informed Nigerian voters. Three candidates, Peter Obi, Atiku Abubakar, and Bola Tinubu, were invited to the 62nd annual NBA conference. Nigerian voters don't have anything like coherent preferences. They vote irrationally and vote contradictory reasons for contradictory reasons. They make political decisions on the basis of ethnic identities, partisan party loyalties, and religious affiliation. Not a bad honest examination of reality. No wonder Nigerians end up with grossly unfit leaders. And that is what Nigerians will get in 2023. Obi and Atiku showed up at the NBA conference. Tinubu was represented by his vice presidential candidate, Kashim Shetima. Shetima, who appeared like a stand up comedian, dressed in a suit made for an enraged, visibly inebriated clown. Contrary to popular assumption, as many, Bolame Tinubu was not half dead or possibly senile to attend the NBA conference. The Septuagint was forced into an undignified fight to defend his uh, mere like a missing in action status. The mysterious but neither a bed nor square appeared after the conference said. It is obviously not true that uh, I'm half dead. It's obviously not true that I'm senile. I'm not a placeholder for Shetima. Get thee behind me, Satan. Why Tinubu failed to throw to show up at NBA conference is understandable, as Ashiwaju of cow breeders and cow herders of Yoruba land. Tinubu was in search of Fulani cows that destroy farms in Igogon, Yewa, and other areas of Yoruba land. Tinubu was in the forest in Owo. Adwekiti Oshugbu, Ilesha, Ikare, Kogi, Kwara, and so on to flush out full and terrorist invaders in the southwest. In fact, Inubu had planned to bring the erring cows to the NBA as evidence to support the answer to his question, where are the cows? But he wasn't so lucky. Meanwhile, Tinubu has uh, intensified and extended his search for the erring cows. It's very likely that before the next rounds of presidential debates ashiwaju would bring the corporate cows and parade them before nigerians on national tv the race for 2023 is getting more interesting stay glued to the tv <laughs> oh my god <laughs> well no matter how you insult him and i'm sure tomorrow you will call in Mr. President, by the grace of God. Are you not calling Buari Mr. President? What has that got to do with you? How has that affected your life? And that is why we have been calling a lot of people Mr. President. Where is Nigeria today? Where is your life? Where is your own forefathers? What, what did they live for? What is left for Nigeria now? You can call them president now. At the end of the day, at the expense of your own life. Just like he said, this is uh, coming from a... Uh, uh, by your Uluwa Sami, the Nigerians they just vote for unreasonable reasons because of a religious affiliation for partisanship and what have you Con for contradictory reasons they just vote and they will come back and be crying they will be crying oh god why this and that the question I'm, I need to even ask because the issue is that the so called Lagosians what is the standard of the of their living standard of living of their life what is it how can you rate it is it an environment because they always talk all this rubbish it's nonsense because you are suffering and you are smiling and you are still praising your oppressors the standard of living of people in lagos and the standard of living in people let's say in anambra because they are the ones they are they are competing with and the standard of living of people in a uh, and adamawa of course, they will tell you that uh, Atiku has never been the governor of that state. 
the standard of living of people in Anambra and the standard of living of people in, in Lagos, what how, how can you equate it? Now the Lagos State government saying they want to bring a they want to a build a hub, they want to do this, and people will be shouting. At the end of the day, what is the relevance of all of this to the people's life? Nothing. So people just vote unreasonably, they will still come back and be crying. But somebody said that uh, uh, they will see call they come and call him Mr. President. Are you not calling Buyari Mr. President? Of what use is this to his people or even to you say all of you who supported him? Well definitely from your utterances say you are perfect say gutter snipe. Make all your noise on social media. We are waiting for you, obituary or is it a obi date? I don't understand. This is a bio Lewis on me. Is a writer, a journalist writing this? I don't know why you are bringing Obi inside this. Why is he not facing a sequel? I don't understand. Even it is not even a sequel that wrote this. Why? It is this same Obi people that are giving you sleepless nights. Mm hmm. What's your concern, Obi, with this write up? I don't understand, though. That is the problem they have. Was they will, they will, they will throw tantrum. And when they give it back to them, they will begin to shout that people are the ones insulting. And they are the ones who really insult. It is what they do that they always attack other people or accuse other people of doing. Just like Ebuwari was saying, a subsidy is a scam. And he's the one who is paying it. He says it's a scam. Well, he has been paying it. He will pay it for 80 years because next year, 2023, by June or so, at the end, and that election must have gone, you know, come and gone. That means they must have paid. He paid this for 80 years, the subsidy for 80 years. And the same person was telling us that it was a scam. Let them attend to that. I don't understand. When it comes to reality, the issue is that why is it that Tinubu did not attend? What's so special? What was this doing? Say what you're going to see, Wiki. Is he in a normal place? We are defending why he did not come to that place. Next time, they will say, you, he does not need to attend a, a presidential debate. And you are telling us that you are educated. You are telling us that you know better. Because that is why he said, this uh, Bayo Ulua Summit is saying that you guys just vote for unnecessary things. For contradictory reasons you just vote for religion religious re people just vote ah it's unfortunate too. that's why you, you just see people you know they will tell you that they jack my because i don't know that the people that you are even trying to work together with they are not even reasonable enough and we have them in billions that is the worst part of it people who are reasonable in nigeria they are not just many we have many unreasonable people I don't know where you belong to, whether you belong to the reasonable or unreasonable people. This is go it goes beyond the what is what this man is saying. In the recess, you begin to ask, why was he not there for educated person? Why was he not there? What is he running for? But he can meet with a they will tell you he's strategizing, he's consulting. You'll be going from places to places. You are consulting at the end of the day, consulting for what? Come and tell us what you have to tell us, not a at the end of the day, you tell us that somebody said this on your behalf. That was not what you promised.